Sunday School lesson. I am your Sunday School teacher, Sister Tamika. Hi everyone! So today I wanted to share something with you today about how God helps us do our jobs. Did you know that God can help you do your job too? Yes, he can. So I wanted to share some stuff with you today so that you can learn that we can trust God to help us do our jobs. Now, I want you to think of some of the jobs that you have to do. Can you think of some of the jobs you might have to do at home or around your house? Can you think of any? Do you have to clean your room? Maybe make your bed? Maybe sweep the floor? <laughs> or maybe take out the trash? Now, if you have a notebook in front of you or a piece of paper, can you grab it for me real quick? And a pen or maybe some crayons? If you don't have it with you now, the good thing about this is that you can hit pause so you can go get it. So if you don't have it, hit pause, and when you have it, you can come back and hit play. Good. Now for those of you who have it, take out your piece of paper, and I want you to draw exactly what you see right here. My jobs and then you can draw pictures of what you actually do. So for me, I drew a picture of a broom. It looks like a broom, right? Good. <laughs> so I drew a picture of a broom because I sweep. It's one of the jobs I do around my house. I sweep the floor up so that the place looks nice and clean. And then another thing I do is I throw away the trash. This way you don't have the trash in the house and it doesn't smell, right? So we have to take the trash out. So those are some of the jobs I do. Can you share some of the jobs that you have to do? So if you make your bed up, draw in, a, in one of the squares, maybe you making up your bed, or if you have to clean the living room, maybe fluffing up the sofas, you could do that. So go ahead, draw right away. Draw! Now that you wrote down some of the jobs that you did, or that you do, some of the pictures that you drew, right? Showing that maybe you sleep, maybe you take out the trash, maybe you make your bed, any of those things. Those are all great things that you're doing. Good job. Now, think of who you're helping when you do these jobs. Can you think of anyone you might be helping? Can I can't hear you. Can you say it louder? Right, you might be helping your mom. Are you helping your dad? Maybe you're helping your auntie or your uncle, maybe grandma or grandpa, maybe your older sister or your older brother. Does that sound like some of the people that you're helping? Very good, good. Now, who can you think of that helps you, or rather, who helps you learn to do these new jobs? Who helped you to learn how to do your job? Was it a parent? Was it a teacher? Right? Maybe a parent and a teacher, right? Maybe both of them help you to do that job. Great. Now, I want you to think of this. Did you know that kids can do and learn to do a lot of jobs? Today, we're going to learn just that very thing, that you can do and learn to do a lot of jobs, and that we can trust God to help us do our jobs. Isn't that amazing? Yes. All right. Now, one thing I'd like you to think of is who helps us when I read this Bible verse. So I'm going to read a Bible verse with you, and it just happens to be our memory verse. And I want you to think of who helps us when I read this memory verse. And our memory verse is taken from Psalms 124, verse 8. So that's Psalms 124, verse 8. Can you say that with me? Psalms 124 verse 8. Very good. And the verse says, our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. I'm going to say it again. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Now, can you say it with me? Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Very good. Good job. You got it. All right. Now, who helps us in this memory verse? The Lord. You got it. Correct. Now, we're going to learn that we can trust God to help us do our jobs. 
Now, I'm going to do a little Bible exploration with you right now because the Bible talks about God. So that's the best place to look is in the Bible so we can learn more about God. And our Bible story comes from the book of 1 Samuel. And 1 Samuel is in the Old Testament of the Bible. So if you have your Bibles, right, the Holy Bible, you can actually read the same thing with me. Now, if you're not sure where to find 1 Samuel, we can go to our table of contents. And our table of contents is in the very beginning of the Bible. So if we go to the Bible and we go to the first few pages, it'll say contents or table of contents. And it's here that you'll find the list of all the books that are in the Bible. And you can go down to each name of the Bible or each name of the book in the Bible until you see 1 Samuel or it might say 1 Samuel. And then you just put your finger on it where it says 1 Samuel, go across till you see the page number that you can find it. And then you'll be able to go to that page number in your Bible and read along with me. So that's 1 Samuel chapter 16. And I'm going to read it from our, from our little readers, which helps give us the story. All right, summarizes the story rather. And it says, David was a shepherd boy. He took care of sheep. David led the sheep to find grass to eat. He helped them find a place to sleep. He found water for them. He helped them when they fell. He kept the sheep safe. Now David had a sling. He could shoot a rock from it. David shot rocks with his sling every day. He was a good shot. A lion tried to take a sheep. David killed it. A bear tried to take a sheep. David killed it too. David was a good shepherd. He did a good job. David had a harp. He liked to play and sing. He sang praises to God. God liked to hear David sing. David sang to God every day. God helped David do his job. He helped David be brave and strong. God helped David be a good shepherd. He helped David play his harp and sing. David was thankful to God. David later became king. David knew God would help him. God had helped him when he was a shepherd. David knew he could trust God. God knew David would do a good job. Oh, what a great story. So it looked like David had many jobs to do and looks like God helped him in each of his jobs. Isn't that amazing? Our help is in the name of the Lord and the maker of heaven and earth. Reminds me of our memory verse, right? Awesome. Now, what I would like to share with you is, or rather, ask you to name ways that God helps us to do our jobs, right? Now, what kind of help might you need to do your job, right? Now, let's think about this. So, maybe one of your jobs were to take out the trash, right? So, you might require some help if the trash is heavy. Maybe you can't do it on your own. So you ask for help and God helps provide help for you so that you don't do it on your own. So that's a, a nice and amazing thing, right? Now, would you need to be brave to do this job? I would think so, especially if it was dark outside and maybe you need to take the trash outside. So you would need some bravery and you can say, God, help me be brave. So I'm not afraid of the dark if I had to take the trash out. And then how would you learn to do this job better? And who might God provide to teach you about the job? So those are some things that you can think about. Now, some jobs are hard to do, and I'm glad that we can trust God to help us to do our jobs. Isn't that amazing? So our help is in the name of the Lord 
the maker of heaven and earth. And God will help us to do any job that it is that we need to do, even if it's not just at home. Maybe there's work that you need to do at school. Maybe you need help with your schoolwork, or maybe you need help with your homework. Maybe there's a project that's coming up and you might need a little help with that. And you can say, God, help me to do my job and help me to do my job well. And God will hear you when you ask him and he will help you. And that's an amazing thing about our God. He hears everything that you say and is willing to help you. You just have to make sure you know who your help comes from and our help comes from God. So I want us to go to God in prayer right now. So if you can just close your eyes with me um, so that you're not distracted and bow your head to show respect to God, we're just gonna pray to God right now and say, Heavenly Father, I thank you for all your help. But I thank you for always being there for me. I know that you will help me to do things well, and I trust you to help me do my job. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for joining me today for our live lesson on learning on how we can trust God to help us do our job. Until next time, thank you. Have a good day.